Hello friends. In this animation video we will discuss on solenoid. After watching this tutorial you should be able to understand the basics of the solenoid. And, become fluent, to answer these questions, related to solenoid. So, let's start, with the first question. What is a solenoid? In study of electromagnetism, solenoid is a spring-like current-carrying wire, whose radius is smaller than its length. Solenoid is also known as an electromagnet. When a steady current, flows through it, it behaves like a magnet. And, attracts iron-like material to it. But, this magnetic field is instantaneous. Because, once the current stops flowing, its magnetic power disappears. If a ferromagnetic material, like, iron, cobalt, etc., inserted through it, as a core material, its magnetic field increases many times. Now, the second question is, why a current-carrying solenoid acts like a magnet? In the year 1820, Danish physicist, H. C. Ørsted showed that, a current-carrying wire produces a steady magnetic field around it. Its direction is governed by the right arm thumb rule. If the right thumb shows the direction of the current, then other fingers should be in the direction of the magnetic field around the wire. Apply this rule in a multi-turn solenoid. These yellow arrows on each turn show the direction of the magnetic field. Summing up all these small effects, we get the total magnetic field around the solenoid. Each smaller magnetic field, contribute, to build a magnetic line of force field. Have you realized the resultant effect? Please comment on that. Third question is, how to determine the north pole and south pole, of a solenoid. If you look at the solenoid from one end, the current appears to rotate in clockwise direction. And, from the other end, the current is appeared to rotate in anti-clockwise direction. The side of anti-clockwise current, is the north pole, of the solenoid. And, side of clockwise current, is its south pole. Note that, if you alter the direction of current, the magnetic pole also changes its end. Fourth question. What is the amount of magnetic field, produced by the solenoid? For a solenoid of finite length, the magnetic field, at any axial point, P, can be calculated to be equal to this. Where, theta 1, and, theta 2, are the angles, shown in this scene. Radius, at the end of the solenoid, made this angle, at P. The quantity, N, is the total number of turns, of the coil. I, is the amount of current, flowing through it. Length of the solenoid is, L, n, mu 0, is the permeability of the free space. Its accepted value is, 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 henry per meter. If, the length of the solenoid is infinite, then, theta 1, and theta 2, 10 to 0 degree. And, the magnetic field should be like this. Question number 5. How to increase the magnetic power of a solenoid? Review the equation. Here, the term, n, divided by, l, is the number of turn in unit length. Hence, to increase magnetic power, one should increase the number of turn per unit length. Also, increasing the amount of current, the magnetic field can be increased. If you choose a ferromagnetic material, like iron, cobalt, nickel, etc., as a core material, the resultant magnetic field will be higher. 
And finally, question number six, where we apply a solenoid. To start a motor vehicle, we need a starter coil to accumulate huge amount voltage. The solenoid coil does this job. Solenoids are used in special door locking system. Computer hard disk drive uses solenoid in it. Also, solenoid finds its applications in speaker, microphone, MRI machines, etc. etc. Like this video and leave your valuable comment on this topic. Goodbye for now.